step 55 is about laziness and unreliability so if you want to take something from this video it would be if you are lazily lazily if you are lazy and unreliable then you will not be able to be successful in life and i'm so sorry to tell you that now i'm not lazy i've never been lazy but i'm teaching myself not to be so unreliable so i'm not saying i'm there yet so if you are like oh i think i'm lazy don't worry you can get there just like i can i can get there and improve you see i'm exactly who ty describes in this step i've tried many many things before and unfortunately i was not able to finish them most of the time because my mind sometimes it's way too fast and I, I get excited and I and then then you know I lose interest but why is that I've never asked myself okay why did you go for that decision why did you choose that school did you actually choose it because you want to do it or did you choose it because you wanted to prove yourself to somebody right so you being unreliable in some things doesn't necessarily mean that you're not able to be reliable. Maybe you just need to find the thing that truly resonates with you and with that one thing, you'll be able to be reliable as fuck. So that is the biggest takeaway from this video. I do realize that I talk too much, especially lately, you know, if anybody's watching this who was diagnosed with bipolar, you will understand that we talk too much when we go high, when we have so much energy and everything. Um, and we also unnecessarily speak fast when we are on the edge of losing it all on the edge of actually falling into the abyss of the shadow, as I call it. Remember as Gandalf fell down in Lord of the Rings? He fell down, and as he was falling down, he was fighting a huge monster, right? And then he, he took his rest. After he slayed the dragon, or whatever the monster was, he had his rest. And then he reappeared. And suddenly he was not this village wizard. He was a magician in white cloth. And he was so much more powerful to help people because of the rest he took. Now I'm speaking to myself, right? Right? Um, I also fell lately. And I... On, on that fall, I was battling many monsters. Depression, yeah. But sometimes it's also your environment, people who, who still see you as this fragile little girl who will fall apart. So every single time you fall, there is a different monster that you need to slay. And um, I've come to realize that once you understand the monster, once you understand where is it coming from, why did it come here, what the fuck does it want here, and why did it drag you down again, then it's so much easier to just fall. And I think in Lord of the Rings, the monster would have died anyway. Uh, Gandalf just, I think, slayed him with one I don't know how long, but they were turning, right? It took some time to actually kill him. And both of them were, like the monster died, but Gandalf was extremely exhausted after he slayed the dragon and he was in this state of just in between, right? And aren't we, aren't we going through such phases ourselves?
Now, yesterday when I was making a video, I was sitting in the park and I was talking real fast. Which is fine. But today I feel better. I do. And today I made a better invention because I was actually walking around the town quite a lot. Today, around maybe for an hour, I, I've talked to people, fantastic conversations with people. Oh my gosh, I, I bumped into a, a friend of mine from elementary school. We've, we've always been good, good friends. We were like these two intellectual friends, you know, and we were always able to have amazing conversations. But then life took us apart. We went to different high schools and now I feel like we'll reunite again. And she already has a family and, I, and they've actually helped me when I was doing charity locally here, like even her husband is fantastic. And so, you know, just to go for a walk, not just necessarily listen to music all the time. And just, she was actually like Inca, Inca, which is my, my local nickname. You know, my closest people call me Inca. Then, and, but I, I saw somebody was, you know, like approaching me. So I was just like, oh, it's me. And people don't even see, right? When you have those earphones, people don't even know you're listening to music. So it might seem like you're just ignoring them. Another disadvantage of those AirPods that we use. Not that I will never mention, um, never use them again. No, I'll, I'll just use them whilst, um, use them wildly, <laughs> use them wisely. And. Anyway, in the park, I think I was sitting there too long. And even though I, I was sitting on a warm scarf, I still got a little chill. I, I got a little cold. I, I could feel the cold, right? Which is urinary tract. And you might, like, in the past, I was just like, maybe I should just go, like, be like Wim Hof, you know, and just like, go into cold water now to make myself stronger. But you can't make your body stronger when your body is weak. You simply can't do that. So if you feel cold when you just sit on a spring bench, then you are not ready for cold water immersion. And that's why we are going through this course, step by step you improve. And so yesterday, the bench was a bit too cold for me. And so today I just walked outside to make sure I have the movement. I've talked to people. And today I come back and I find out that if I sit on my bed and open up the window, I get the effect of the sun, which I like, I, I just, you know, I'm craving sun these days because my body is rejuvenating after a whole year of up and down, like extreme changes last year, extreme changes for me. And not on the like romantic level yet, but on a personal level, meaning separating from parents, actually moving out, finding a new job, um, realizing it's actually squeezing me it, it, it's like a different kind of prison that I was actually trying to escape which puts you to the original pr prison <laughs> because see if you don't heal it at home you will just grab it with you and you will just wander you will just move around the world and you'll just you will just play the same game with different actors and um, It'll be just sad because eventually those people at home will die and age and you'll feel like you could have done better and then you'll feel guilty and so on and so forth. Don't want to go too deep, but I think you get the point. So now I'm in the original prison, my mental prison, where it started, right? Because I want to heal it completely. I want to understand it. I want to make sure other people understand. And there are some healing conversations happening healing conversations but I'm not only working on that like spirituality and stuff but I also help myself and 
I'm uh, using a lot of a lot of Ringana supplements these days. It's a it's a Austrian brand from yeah, it's a family business actually. A father had a son and he came from kindergarten with a sample of a toothpaste toothpaste. And he looked at the what the toothpaste contained and he was disgusted because he probably understood the ingredients. And so he said, no, 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 this is not going to be happening. My child is not going to brush his teeth, teeth with this shitty toothpaste. And so he started working in somewhere in the attic or basement, I suppose, I don't know. And they came up with a special oil. And that special oil now people use in many, many countries in Europe to clean cleanse their teeth in a natural way. Whenever you travel, you just use this oil so you don't have to brush on the go. You just use something natural. So that is like the, the story of Ringana. It's original story and I've been using it for a while for my skin and it helped a lot. And on that journey, I've realized that If I want to apply these creams, these vegan creams that are, you know, high quality, not overly priced, but quite expensive for, for Slovakia for sure. But it's not like um, 300 euros per cream. You know, it's, and I, I don't understand the cosmetics industry, so I'm not an expert. But um, in Slovakia, if you invest, I think, nine, uh, yeah, daily cream, my aunt ordered the other day and my mom is using as well, is 46.90, which is 47 euros. And uh, when people pay me, they pay me exact amount of money, which means they think it's ridiculous, but they see the effect. Because if people think, you know, they are paying... Um, you know what I want to say. Like, if they thought, oh, this is so valuable, I will give you f oh, 66, 67, let's say, or six, uh, or f 47, or 50, uh, to have some extra or something, then... Uh, yeah, it's simply, it's not, it's simply not the case now for those people, because they still don't understand the bigger picture of that brand. And I'm... Mm, promoting this brand because it's helping me. I'm not necessarily doing it because of the company itself. I think the company is just fine and will just grow in time because they caught this trend very early on. Especially, it was, um, they're family bees, so they are like 30 years old. And um, so they'll be just fine if I don't use them, you know what I mean? But I want to spread their expertise because of how their supplements are helping me. You see, I've mentioned urinary tract, which means I'm healing my relationships, my close relationships. You know how difficult it is to heal relationships with your father, with your mom, with your brother. Uh, and I'm not saying they caused me any trauma, like physical trauma or something when I was little. No, it's just those little misunderstandings that we have in everyday life. And when that keeps happening, we just have assumptions assumptions like uh, uh, assumptions and we are also afraid fearful about those people that we love because we are like i know you as this version of yourself and now you are trying to be somebody else but i still don't see the results how am i supposed to not be worried about you for example right so it all requires um perfect skills when it comes to communication perfect skills and but you won't have perfect skills one conversation at a time that's why we need to practice that's why i try to have a little small talk with at least one person outside and sometimes i approach people sometimes they approach me it's like a beautiful exchange and once you manage those simple conversations with simple people then you'll be able to get into rooms that are full of more advanced people 
or more educated people or more you will you'll be able to talk with people who are experts And if you wonder what happened to Veronica, she's much calmer than yesterday, than CBD oil, guys. And I'm not an, a, a, like a supplement influencer. I'm not. And I'm not trying to be, but maybe I should. Because I've been through these cycles so many times before. sun is behind a cloud. I love this. I, I wanted to travel to uh, Canary Islands because actually friends of mine have an apartment there so it would be even, you know, it wouldn't even be that expensive to, to stay there. But the energy, man, the energy of of traveling, buying tickets, going to the airport. And it's manageable. And when I have my strength, I'm able to do it like that. I've traveled before, it's fine. But it's just, that would take more energy from me than I would actually get from that place. And I didn't really like the apartment anyway. And if my flat is better looking or I get a better feeling from my own place than I won't go not always of course sometimes I oh my gosh when I traveled the stories I have I, I stayed in every hostel you can possibly imagine in Europe in Paris in Rome you name it I got lost in all these huge cities and I was on a low budget staying in a family local family taking care of the children so i wouldn't have to pay for accommodation only to be able to go to a private school and study a language i you know i I've, I've done many crazy adventures and that is a huge part of who i am but sometimes you need to learn to have those adventures those expeditions even in your local place because if you are not able to appreciate your local place where you find yourself right now you won't be able to move up because you need to be able to create a lifestyle that you truly enjoy and you'll, you'll be you'll be like i love everything here i love everything here only then you're able to level up and actually move to a place which will level you up because if you move too fast you just take all your problems like i said before you just take all your problems and you take them to a different place which doesn't necessarily level or doesn't feel like leveling up because you are like i feel like shit here uh, yes i'm now suddenly living in this huge city which i've always dreamed about but i still feel like shit why well 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 and I'm not saying people have not made it this way. I have friends who moved away and actually that helped them to, to become who they truly want to become and uh, they are able to be there and um, be also there for the family. And yeah. Anyway, so CBD oil, I started using this Yesterday, I had it for the very first time. This is CBDium by CBDium. There's actually a Slovak rapper, Mike Spirit, who is behind this brand with his professional team. That's why I love this brand, because you can tell. Because of Ringana and of the high standard that they set, I'm now able to make distinctions between brands. And this is also, this CBDium, they have lab in Austria. And unfortunately, in Austria, Austria is ahead of us, ahead of Slovakia, ahead of Czech Republic, because they are they they are organized. They have systems. It simply works there better because uh, there are um, there are people who. I'm not saying there are not capable people in Slovakia. I'm just saying that sometimes the most capable 
people leave a country because they can't stand the system. The system is hurting them on so many different levels that, that they can't physically, just that they can't digest that. That's why we all need to become leaders. We need to be not lazy and not unreliable. We need to be what? What's the opposite of lazy? I would say organized. I wouldn't say hardworking. I think the opposite of lazy is be organized um, and, and just do every single day. So create a system that works for you now that allows you to make a video a day, that allows you to exercise every single day, that allows you to cook for yourself every single day. And if you don't want to do those, then a lifestyle that allows you to do a couple of those and have somebody who helps you with the cooking, or I don't know. So, but there is also you know, when you are too organized, too detail-oriented, you get this inner tension and you, are, you, you get stuck because you see all the options and you are just paralyzed. So you want to have a system that works for you, but you, don't, you can't be too hung up on details because you'll die. Believe me. When I tell you uh, details like Oh, I walked outside. Oh, now I realize I should have taken different boots than I actually took. Oh, I should have, I should have, I should should be going back to actually change. But oh, I will actually then miss the train. What do I do? I run to catch the train, or do I? <laughs> it's just an example, exhausting example of what was happening to me, and those are little things. So I've learned, all right, I cannot have too many things in my closet. How do I help myself? Oh, just have high quality pieces that you really, really love. And whenever you buy something new, make sure to either throw away something which you don't need anymore or donate or ask a friend if she wants it or he wants it, you know, whatever. So I have, I limit myself with uh, the options I have to choose from because that's such a, that's, that takes energy and we need to be able to make wise distinctions in life. Wise distinctions. You not only make decisions, you, you make distinctions. I will use this supplement, I will not be using this one. That's why I'm actually recording these, this progress of mine. Even though many people think, oh, how come you so educated fell again? How come you got squeezed like a lemon again? Don't you ever learn? We doubt that you'll ever learn if this keeps happening to you. Mm, doubters, haters, naysayers. Listen to Uncle G what he has to say about naysayers. Like people who don't actually understand what you're about. Get some more. Get some more. Get some more naysayers, because only on their shoulders your true tribe will appear because they will start defending you. And that's the true magic of success. Yeah, and unreliable. I've told, I, I said it before. We are unreliable, maybe when we choose incorrectly. And we are like, and then we know we are not in the right place and we are unreliable unreliable because we couldn't care less hmm? we couldn't care less so you become unreliable in order not to be good at what you do I don't know I don't want to go too deep I think I've I've gone already anyway <laughs> any anyhow um, so I use this high quality CBD oil I do not have a contract with them or promotion contract with them or anything I just want to um, track this progress of mine because I see progress you know I I took uh, and this is it's not only that this saved me okay like 
there are so many things health wealth love happiness okay so it's not only about uh, taking this and never changing your diet never actually healing your relationships never actually um, go deep on the issue you're actually facing it's not about that so if you feel if you think this is going to save your life it's not but it can pull you through so that when when you actually fall it's a soft landing it's a soft landing and I almost broke lately I almost got smashed into pieces but with the with the help of my parents and my brother and the closest people that I have the closest friends or new friends who popped up I'm able to soft land Yesterday I took 15 drops before going to sleep. Um, see, they recommend uh, 45 drops for extreme exhaustion, physical or mental, which I definitely am going through. You saw me in the videos before, so you can, if you don't believe me, then go and check those. <laughs> and I will, I will keep them there on purpose for, for people tr to see, to track them. I should definitely post them somewhere on my website in case you never know these YouTube channels they they just cancel them when people are speaking their truth sometimes it happened to one guy in Slovakia he was being outspoken about current issues of um, the virus and uh, they just canceled they just deleted his YouTube with so many followers it's not the end of the world if you are not hung up on one social media platform. So, it's not the end of the world, but it's a tendency of the systems that are ruling us. The companies that own us. Ooh. That's why my goal is to not get entangled in, uh, in uh, you know, unhealthy 9 to 5. Because it can squeeze the life out of you. If it's not a right vehicle for you at the time, it will just, it, it has the potential to kill you. And I've seen this happen again and again. My friend that I haven't seen for a while, she was working in a company, she was on the phone. Um, Slovak speaking girl on the phone with Germans who were just screaming at her um, because they were complaining about something. And this is what is sick about this world. Why a Slovak girl is supposed to pick up the phone for German-speaking people? Why isn't the customer service center in Germany or Austria or wherever the brand is? Oh, because of cheap labor? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's so much easier to just hire a girl from East Europe who will be so happy to receive more money, but also the hate coming from people. And I'm not saying people are being hateful it's if you are a foreigner and a and the native is screaming at you in his own language how can you defend yourself yes you can get tough you can get um, you know you can you can get tough you can toughen up but that's a lot of male energy right there and I, I, I did the same I was working for a British company, once again, East European girl, so smart, so capable, so fast learning, got the clients uh, after three days of making calls. There was 5,000 for the company. I mean, the company got uh, 3,000 was net because we had to pay an expert to actually deliver the service, which was 2,000, so 3,000 for the company. And how much did I make? Well, there was a beautiful commission. Don't take me wrong. There was a beautiful commission. Uh, the, uh, when, you, when you got a client who signed a contract with, which was service-based, that, that happens immediately. But what about when you chase somebody and you, you get a contract which the client signs, but then it's valid from 2023 and it's still 2000. I know 21 are you kidding me and of course you can stay longer you can toughen up you can become an expert and you can keep doing this and of course your salary would rise of course but is it the vehicle for you is uh, selling electricity what you want to do 
or whatever is the service you are selling. You might be selling shoes like Aaron D. I call him Aaron D. Just Google Aaron D on YouTube and a name D O U something will pop up. And he's the master of letting go, how to not be chasing people, how to not see a soulmate in everybody. I could talk about that. How to actually just focus all that energy on what you want to do. And he recommends some fine, fine meditations that allow you to let go of those strict scenarios you have in your mind. It will happen this way. And I know all my empaths there, you feel, you see, you are like, but I, I, but I, I feel this is my person, I just, I know, I know, I know, you know, I know, you know, I know, you know, don't lose hope, don't lose hope, it's just, it will happen differently than you think, so let go, don't lose hope completely, if, if it helps you to get through the day and the visualization of that person actually helps you, then use that person for those purposes, but don't be so hung up on it. And just be open and meet people and see different options, but don't settle for those just because there is nothing more or better available. No, observe, see what works for you, what doesn't, but not to an extent when you get pregnant and suddenly you are like, oh shit, not with this person. And then you have a child and life becomes so complicated and then you you don't have a foundation with the partner and then it's it's such a mess and it's possible to handle 100 percent but could it please be just if you choose well it's like when you it's like um when i bought my backpack I did, I did a little bit of research and I knew what I needed, what I wanted. It was a big backpack that I could be wearing around the town that would, uh, in which I could carry my groceries that I buy. Because I don't have a, it doesn't make any sense to have a car in a small town if you have everything five minutes from you. Like, why? Um, so, I knew I needed a backpack that would be not too big, but um, big enough for what I need every single day. I knew I needed a backpack that could get wet in case of rain and I knew I I needed a backpack that would last and so I purchased a backpack for 100 euros which was quite a lot at the time but I have the backpack for two years or so. Everybody who knows me around the town they know I will I walk with this backpack and the magic I pull out of that backpack. I collected presents for 100 children during Christmas with that backpack. Every single day, one present at a time, I would go from the office to a local toy store, get the present or somebody would send the present, you know. Next year, I actually want to start collecting money ASAP. It's what? February. 19th February so if I start now people actually won't be so tight with money as they will be around Christmas and I want to create a bank account where there are it's like people can see what comes in what uh, leaves and uh, yeah I want to start collecting and we'll see how we'll use the money but I actually do have a system in mind so we not only give children gifts everybody deserves a gift on Christmas time there are people who hate this kind of charity and they're like oh but so many people are giving presents to charity to orphanage children yeah, and don't they deserve more presents so if they receive like why are we so tight with money oh my gosh anyway the way we do it is actually we, we approach an orphanage home and we're like, look, we'd love to collect presents for these babies and these teenagers. Just give me a list of a child, a name, not a surname, because of privacy, the age, and what would they actually want? And we have a, a maximum of uh, 20 
euros. This year I found out 20 is quite tight. Maybe next year we'll have to go for 30 because everything goes up. That's why I want to start collecting the money ASAP. And um, yeah, I can't wait to be doing that. So, see, so many ideas come from a piece of rest. Anyway, I took this 15 drops before going to sleep. I fell asleep in 10 minutes. It was rather late. It was 11, but it was Friday, so I was like listening to music before and such. But anyway, I it was 11. I took the drops. I fell asleep in 10 minutes. And I woke up at 5, which is actually my goal. I love to wake up at 5. It gives you a long sense, a different sense, a different feeling about your day. It's like your your day seems so long. Give it a go, like wake up at 5 or just you don't have to go to extremes like I did. Uh, maybe just wake up 10 minutes earlier for a week and see where that takes you or 30 minutes earlier or an hour earlier i'm an i love to test extreme case scenarios on myself so but i'm learning all right so don't do this learn from how it's not done it's not done when you push yourself to the edge to wake up at five just because you know you want to prove yourself or I don't know what my intention was no my intention was to actually I, I could tell I was not able to fall asleep that is the thing I saw I was not able to fall asleep so I I thought I will just I just need to start going to bed regularly that's all I need but the problem was I was not able to fall asleep I tried at 9 at 10 11 I tried the yoga I tried this I tried that nothing worked because my body was so tired even to it's like when a child is too tired to even fall asleep that was, that has been happening to me for the last couple of weeks and so but anyway i fell i fell asleep somehow and then i would push myself to wake up at 5 which i would have woken up anyway because the sleep was not that deep i don't think i would even be able to sleep longer and i know if i would sleep longer I would just feel anxiety about things I had to do and it was like a vicious loop and then I would be depressed because I wouldn't be able to get up. See, now I think I discovered what was actually like, I, I, I pushed myself to wake up so early because I knew from the past that when I stayed too long and I didn't have specific time to go to bed and wake up, I got depressed. And I remember three months of, of that or six months of that in the past. This is not the first time I'm going through this. And people think I have virus. People think I have um, Omicron. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, the tests didn't show, but... Yeah. Who's making money on those tests, anyway? So, I could have the combination of both. Extreme exhaustion and the virus, maybe. But as far as I know, I've experienced this before, so it's not like... Um, I don't think it's it's uh, just the, the virus. But anyway, so that was a good sleep. I woke up at 5, was able to do what I do usually in the mornings. And then I uh, had a warm breakfast. And um, warm breakfast that I made myself. And so no cold yogurt, please. No cold milk with cereals. Warm breakfast. Even a soup if you can. And um, then uh, I, I went to town. I walked around. It was sun it was, uh, The sun was shining. I was talking to people and stuff. And then I came back home. And it was quarter to one. And actually to have a nap that does not disturb your night sleep. Like, you want to have a nap until 2, max 3 p.m. Max. I think 2 is the best. 2 is the best. So I came... I came home at 12.45. Once again, I, 
uh, I ate actually I came home at 12 30 and I had lunch warm lunch and then it was 15 minutes to one when I took these drops 12 of them again and once again I was able to have a nap it was not the the deepest nap I've ever had it was um, I was kind of sleeping kind of not but I when I looked at the clock when I woke up it was one hour which means I did sleep in some way it, um, and I was not able to do this last couple of days I was not able to do it because um, when I'm okay I'm, I'm able to nap to have a nap when I'm not okay I'm not even able to have a nap and the most efficient nap research shows is 13 minutes and in the past I was able to just lie on the couch set up the clock for 13 minutes and I would sleep immediately I would be able to fall asleep to like switch off my mind and just shh. but when I'm not able to do it I'm not okay no more and um, sometimes it's difficult for me to manage because I don't realize it's happening that's why I need to have a huge support system around me to be able to spot these like honey you're not able to nap what's happening are you okay I, I need this level of support hmm I see a guy walking down the street now and I've talked to him yesterday actually I think he's the same guy uh, there's a huge wisdom you get to understand when you talk to people outside Anyway, I will take 15 before bed tonight and I'm sure I will have even better sleep and today I will go even earlier. So t uh, yesterday it was 11, so I will go at 10 and see what happens. And I'll keep you posted. And so these helpers on the way can make a huge difference because see, my goal is not to go for medication. I've never taken antidepressant and I'm proud of that and I will not choose to go for antidepressant in the future. I will always grab the maybe more expensive op options out there that are uh, not addictive and nature and fully uh, coming from nature which this CBD oil is there is no sugar there it's vegan it's um, fantastic and um, yeah it was a hundred bucks and I had to yeah I, I wanted to make sure I have it during the weekend so actually my brother bought it for me because I didn't have cash on my card because the new card is in the bank but I think my brother will give it to me anyway as a gift because he will do anything for me to be okay power of family baby and another thing essential oils oh my gosh I, I think I'm giving up on perfumes This oil elevation. Now I sign up for everything, okay? So I'm able to order it myself. I don't like when they push me, and I'm very clear on telling them like, don't fucking push me because I will never ever order, and it will not get commission from my sale. <laughs> so I, but I do sign up, so I'm able to order. And this elevation oil is like music to my ears now, because I need to elevate. And it's funny with these oils because if you smell some and you don't and you don't like them like geranium for example is a special oil and if you can't stand the smell you need to heal your relationships with your parents and I, when I was on the healing journey to heal my relationships with my parents um, s like on that journey the, the, oil star the oil started to smell better to me it was like and then I reached the point when I loved the oil. It was fantastic smell. I, I even used it up. And see, now I need to elevate, but not too high because I, I'll go nuts. That's why I love Kanye West. I really need to meet him one day. I will meet him one day. Because like attract, attracts like. Not that I want to be with him, but I want to meet him and talk to him and be like, hey, yo, what about your bipolar? Because he's refusing the system and the and the, the whole America is blaming him and 
not understanding him. Oh my gosh! But if they only knew what it, and I I'm sure Kim knows what, like, like to go through this with your love is extreme. You have to be tough to have a partner who, who has the past, who has a tendency for you know, highs and lows. You need to be tough and extremely smart and extremely compassionate and be able to not lose yourself in that relationship and if you if you just live in a way that you always are careful about the, the, the person so you just make decisions that are good for them then of course it break it, it falls apart but i'm not an expert here i'm just observing all right all i'm saying is you want to like i want to talk to people who've been labeled bipolar because we are not uh, crazy we are just extremely, extremely creative and capable. We just need to find the niche. And once we find it and we direct our attention to it, on it, poo, nothing you can't achieve, baby. Kanye will be president one day, I'll tell you. <laughs> I think so. Once he figures out um, a way to do it, or he'll be president of the music industry, I don't know. But he'll be a president. He saw it in his mind. Maybe he just um, took action too soon. Because we see the future. We see the end result too soon. And we're like, but this is going to happen. This is going to happen. We need to take these steps. And people are like, what? You're crazy. Why would you take these steps? Like, oh, don't you see the end result? <laughs> so annoying. So that's why communication is so crucial, psychology is so crucial, so you know how to communicate your your future visions in such a way that you are not an asshole, like Steve Jobs was. He realized at the end. He realized, but too late. It was too late. He, st he stressed himself too much. No balance, health, wealth, love. Always the same story, just a different packaging. All right, so do what you can to support yourself. And this was a beautiful sunbathing session, 48 minutes, and I've used up the sun. I've used up the good time to actually talk to you guys. Didn't have to worry about fucking light. <laughs> I didn't want to say fucking. It's so funny when you actually use it in a foreign language, which is not your own. It's like. It's actually fake, so could have not, should have not used that, but it's so much more fun to curse in your own language because nobody understands. <laughs> no, but um, it is actually very, if you curse, it's good to just get it out of the system. I, I support that. I think that's very important. But if you just curse because of the sake of it just because you don't know many adjectives then maybe just open up a dictionary <laughs> sorry for being rude gotta go don't forget laziness and and unreliability are the enemies of success i want you to succeed i want myself to succeed i want little children in orphanage homes and teenagers in orphanage homes to succeed to succeed i want the homeless people to succeed but like I said, I will start with myself and I'll figure out the rest later because the more you learn, the more you earn. But you don't want to be locked up in your place and not be sharing with the world because then you just live in your head and in your own perfect space and that's not healthy. So I'm going to close this window. Ah, fantastic. Even now, see the sun is behind the cloud. I even have like rose cheeks from the sun. That's fantastic. See, I no need no need for Canary Islands. I will actually go on a road trip to Italy. Once I'm done, there is a concert of Ludovico Einaudi, which is my favorite piano composer. He's going to be. He's going to be. I think at the end of May. He's going to be in Torino. I better. I should buy the tickets ASAP.
because that's actually what I want to do. I want to go there and then from Torino, I'll go to Varese. I have a friend there. There's a university there. I'll check it out. I want to go to Bolzano. I've been to Firenze, Bologna before. I might stop in Rome if I arrange some meetings there because I, I have some connections there. And then I want to go to Napoli because I read this uh, book by the saga by Elena Ferrante. It's three books, about four books about two girls. It's about friendship and it broadened my horizons on so many different levels that um, I, don't necess I don't necessarily need to see Napoli. I can just fly there or be there and then go to Bari uh, and Puglia. Uh, there should be fantastic food, fantastic uh, sea and la dolce vita. Bravissima, Veronica, bravissima. Che brava, tu sei che brava. Ciao, ciao, ciao.